Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you through a patient that I've been seeing since uh, middle of October, okay? So I've got this patient's notes in front of me. This is all completely um, anonymous. So this particular patient came to me middle of October. She has had back pain for 11 years, okay? All day, every day, back pain for 11 years. She is 30 years old, okay? It started when she was on a bus and the bus was hit from behind uh, by another vehicle, started her back pain, then it progressed to sort of slightly higher back pain, then mid back pain, then neck pain, and in the last few years she's been getting headaches as well. So it's kind of started at the, low, at the bottom part of her back after that traumatic injury and it progressed up, okay? So what have we been doing with her? Because, well, <laughs> since I last saw her, which was two weeks ago, I just saw her this morning, she's had 40% improvement in her, 40% reduction in her pain. So the question is, what have we been doing? And the answer is nothing special, <laughs> okay? One of the really, really important things to grasp with um, long-term pain is that you need to know what the patient is doing to perpetuate the pain, to stop it calming down, okay? So this particular patient, she had, her sleep routine was dreadful, okay? So she wasn't going to bed at the same, same time and getting up at the same time, playing on her phone a lot in bed, um, so we needed to sort that, okay? Another thing, she admits she does not really do any, if barely any exercise whatsoever, so we need to affect that. Um, and another thing was she, she was very, very fearful of what the problem was, what could be done about it. Um, so we've done a lot of reassurance and we've done actually a lot of really going into the research. What does the research say about long-term pain? In her situation, we know that, well, with any person who's had pain that long, we know that whatever the tissue injury was initially, that healed, and that heals within about the first 12 weeks, about three months. So any pain after that is due to sensitivity of the body and not due to the specific tissue injury. So we talk about that in a, in a really positive way, because that is, that is a good thing. There is nothing physically damaged, wrong, that needs to heal in your body. Your body is good, but it's just not working as we would want it to. So I've been doing hands-on treatment with her, okay? That has provided some very temporary relief. We know that hands-on treatment provides that short-term benefit. I've got a walking more, okay? So we do that to the extent that doesn't aggravate the pain. So if your pain comes on after 15 minutes of walking, then you need to do 10, and you probably want to get more than one round of walking in per day. Um, I've got her improving the sleep routine. So she's going to bed the same time and getting up at the same time every single day, okay? She's not playing on her phone before bed. That goes in a different room or you just, we need to develop some kind of routine, whether you go to bed, you put the phone down, you read a book and then you go to sleep, all right? Um, yeah, and we've, we've removed fear. That's the big, one of the really, really big ones. So we've, um, We've, we've clarified what the problem is, we've got that straight, she's happy with it, she understands that there's nothing physically wrong with the spine, the spine is strong, the spine is stable, the spine is fully in alignment, nothing's popped out, nothing, there's no muscular balances, um, and then we can, start, we can start work, okay? She is previously to come to us, she's had osteopath, physio, acupuncture, and deep tissue massages, none of which provided any long-term relief, okay? So I saw her in the middle of October, I then saw her a week later, and then a week later after that, and that was, that point, that last one was two weeks ago, and I saw her today, and over the last two weeks, she's had 40% improvement, okay? That's not because we've done loads of hands-on treatment, and hands-on treatment is magical, it's because we've been tackling all of those things within her lifestyle that make the change, okay? What we do as part of the Spinal Recovery Program is we teach you all of these things that you need to be doing within your lifestyle to make it so that your pain can calm down, okay? We've got to reduce the, the body's perception of threat, and we do that through an overall uh, management strategy. Now, there might be things that this patient needs to do. For example, she might need to bend a lot, so I'll then need to go in there with a specific uh, bending exercise program to work her through so that her tolerance for bending goes up as well, okay? But in terms of reducing the pain and calming it down, we're using that overall uh, generalized lifestyle approach because that's what the research says works best, okay? Um, yes, this person's gonna have muscle dysfunction, tight, tender muscles everywhere. Yes, she is gonna have 
uh, dis the joints aren't going to be working. She may have some osteoarthritis, wear and tear, spondylitis, spondylosis, whatever you want to call it. There will be stuff like that going on in her spine. Um, but just tackling that is like 5% of the overall problem. It doesn't matter if you remove some muscle dysfunction or some uh, joint dysfunction, get them moving better and relaxed. If that person isn't exercising at all, like that, that's, that's not what's gonna help that person. It, it's only worth so much if that person isn't sleeping enough and sleeping well, okay? So you have to cover all of those bases, okay? The, there's three different factors at play there. It's biological factors, psychological factors, and social factors, and you have to cover all three of them. That's why we, a lot of the people that we see who come to the Spinal Recovery Program, they have, have had so many um, failed treatments so far because people are only focusing on one thing, and that one thing tends to be biological factors. So they tend to have had lots of x-rays and orthopedic consultations, neurological examinations, uh, x-rays, MRIs, uh, uh, ultrasound scans, steroid injections as well, hands-on treatment, just loads, acupuncture, loads of different stuff like that, but that's only focusing on the biological stuff. It's not looking broad enough at the things in that person's lifestyle that are perpetuating uh, their pain and allowing their pain to be this ongoing experience, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling really good for this patient. I think they're gonna do really, really well. To have um, 11 years of daily, all day, every day, constant, pain to for us to then do three sessions and when we check back on the fourth session which is four weeks from when we started they've got 40 percent reduction in pain is is pretty um pretty good and she's obviously doing doing something right so um yes it takes time yes it takes consistency on the part of the patient but you have to be using effective strategies if you're not using effective strategies then you can't arrive at that point okay so I can give you an update with this patient in sort of a few months time if that's what you guys want let me know if you've got any questions about um your problems your lifestyle then put them in the comments below we'll have a chat and we'll see if we can um work our way through that and if there's something some assistance that we can offer you guys with that then you know let's do that all right so i hope you all have a great week um, make sure you go onto our youtube channel and check out all the videos that um we've been we've been posting um Everything is on there now, absolutely everything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great week and I'll speak to you all again soon.